I spent the last few days cleaning up in the uh, studio and structuring things. And uh, also this right here is a new tool board with a couple of new stuff. Then I have the old one over here. Check this out. Do, 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 do. All satisfaction. And then ba, 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 ba. Oof. Having everything organized in a way like this makes me feel so good about being here. And there's something about this studio that makes everything that I do so relaxing. I don't know what it is, but ever since I started to fix this place up the way that I want to have it, it kind of makes me feel fulfilled in a way that is very hard to describe. But I do need your help with one thing. I'm still not entirely sure where I'm going to have the charger space because now we have this entire wall done and this entire wall is filled up as well. We have <laughs> the Nerf guns over here and we have this new space that I'm not using yet. I am thinking right here, what do you think about that? Like having all the chargers fixed on this shelf. Would that look good? I think it would, but I would love to know your opinion on this, huh? And moving out into the new studio space, haven't really fixed everything here yet because there's just, just yeah. But this is the new gear wall that is going to be everything that I need to be using while I'm on the field. And everything is supposed to be very easily accessible. Just grab it, go out, shoot, put it back when you're done. We have the power stations from EcoFlow. We have the Pavo tubes. We have the Forza 300, Forza 500, extension cords, and everything else that you might need. Still not entirely done with it, but definitely taking place. And I also want to say to anyone in the dope squad, if you're watching this, I am going to clean up the bar and serve a bunch of beers and whiskey here whenever you guys decide to arrive to Swilda. I also got a couple of new tires for the RC car so that we can have a smoother ride whenever we're taking out for a spin. But I'm also going to place another thing here and move the fire extinguisher. Not gonna tell you what just yet. You're gonna have to wait and see. Do you remember that I... Uh, applied for an LLC company instead of being a sole proprietor. Good news, that is a success. So from now on, my company is going to be called PLC or Peter Lindgren Creative. And this is something that I never thought would happen because a while back I never thought I would be able to get to this point. And I want to talk about how YouTube has changed everything for me. Everything that I knew beforehand moving into YouTube and everything moving forward now that I'm running this YouTube channel. For some of you, it might not be as interesting as it is for me, but I think it might motivate some of you to hear my thoughts and opinions on how everything changed just when I started making YouTube videos. But I just want to say that if this is your first time watching it, hey, Peter, hope everything's good with you and uh, that you're enjoying the content so far. If you are, make sure to subscribe and don't forget to follow me on Instagram as well because I post a lot of behind the scenes stuff and teasers and all that good stuff over there. So oh, join in. We're going to go back to the beginning of 2018, which is almost three years ago. Wow, time is moving away. But I posted this photo to my Instagram with the text that was as followed. A new year has started, with it comes new possibilities for new adventures. My Instagram will continue to focus more and more on my passion for photography and videography rather than bodybuilding. I will continue to film content and all that stuff and I hope that you will stay along on the ride through this year out. At the same time as I posted this photo onto Instagram, I also decided that I wanted to be more positive in the way that I didn't want to, you know, have negative people around me. I didn't want to be a fika bord snackare, som vi säger här i Sverige, where you sit around on the dinner table at your job and then just complain about everything. I didn't want to be like that. And the fun thing with that is that the YouTube videos helped me achieving that goal because when I recorded videos, I heard 
that as I mentioned in my previous video, you should be really like positive and really upbeat when you're recording your videos. And this helped me to go into a more positive mindset when I wanted to change my personality. Because if you think that the way that you are right now is the way that you are going to be in the future, then you're wrong. We can always change just as we can learn stuff we can learn to change our mindset to become more positive. We can be more um, engaging people. We can be more caring people. I mean, all those things is something that we can learn. And that was something that I did when I decided to shift my focus from the bodybuilding lifestyle. Not saying that bodybuilding is bad, but it wasn't for me back then. And then in February of 2018, we went to the Maldives and I was going to record a really good vlog. I thought that this was going to be the best opportunity to get one of the best vlogs that I've ever done onto the channel. But the last few days when we were there, I managed to drop my entire hard drive into the floor. Like, poof, everything was gone. As I said to myself, you know, can't blame anyone else because this was my doing. I dropped it, no one else did, and I wasn't careful enough. So I try to stay within that positive mentality. And some of you have probably seen that whenever I break something here on the channel, whenever I uh, drop something or anything like that, I always try to stay positive because I know that you can't do anything about it. Like it doesn't matter if my phone breaks right now because I cannot do anything about that because it's already broken. I can't undo the already done, you know? unless your name is Gerald Undone. And that kind of positive aspect of thinking has oozed through everything that I've been doing lately and it makes everything so much easier. But I wouldn't be able to do that without doing YouTube. Some of you are probably watching this and seeing the 500,000 subscribers that I got when I'm posting this video. But I also want to know that I have been in the place where I didn't have any followers on Instagram, no followers on YouTube and just tried to post videos and get better at posting videos. And 2018 was the year when I started to post more videos onto YouTube. And it was also the year where I bought my first gimbal and my first full frame camera, my first full frame lens. And I also got my first studio, which wasn't really a YouTube studio. It was just an office space to get with a buddy of mine that I rented. And it was so much fun having that office space and growing into it and then growing out of it, and then eventually growing into this space and then growing out of this space into the new space and you know, this entire journey. But it's also very important that you think of the entire journey and not just the point where I am right now, because it's very easy to watch YouTube videos of me or another great creator out there that is in the position that we are right now without thinking about the entire journey that has been. And it's definitely something that I think anyone should try out if you have the slightest curiosity of how it is to become a YouTuber or run a YouTube channel or create videos. And I really, really want you to know that the opportunities that have been given because of this YouTube channel is way above anything else that I could ever imagine. So. If you're in the beginning of your YouTube journey or creator journey, then I'm rooting for you. I would love to see you drop a comment down below saying where you're at and where you're aiming to be within the next five years. And thank you so much for being here. Can't say that enough. You guys rock. And I would love for you to subscribe if you haven't. And also, I will see you in the next video. Peter Franz Wille saying goodbye.